Hey, if you've heard of Scrivener, but its complexity kind of intimidates you, then you're in luck. I'm going to be breaking down Scrivener into little digestible bites so you can maximize this software to write amazing stories. Hey friends, let's talk about how to change binder icons. And by talk, I mean I talk and you leave comments down below. Ask me questions or tell me about your favorite Scrivener features. Over here, like I have said, is the binder. So when I talk about the binder, I'm talking about this panel over here. Now we can see right now that I've kind of got my generic um, default icons. I've changed them all back. So this is what they'll look like when you first make your project. And these are kind of boring. So let's shake things up a little bit. So you select the thing that you want to change the icon and right click on it. And then down in this menu, change icon. It brings up this whole big long menu. Awesome. So you can go through here. There's more down this way. And you can go through here and you can click, uh, select anything that they've got. Um, but we're going to talk about some of the less obvious features of the icons, which is icon from text and managing custom icons. So icon from text. And what this means um, is that you can make an icon some text. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory, but here, let's jump. So um, let's say I want my icon to say, cool, all right. I'm, I'm, I'm very original and creative. So you just type in your text, hit OK. And now you can see right here, across you can see it. So now the icon says cool. <laughs> and it says um, in the instructions. So for best results, choose single character, such as an emoji icon. So that's why this menu popped up. So let's choose this emoji. And here it is. All right. And okay. So now we see that this changed up here. So yay. <laughs> There's my emoji for my manuscript. It's the heart space manuscript. So now let's say um, I want to change this to um, a custom icon. So up here, manage custom icons. Um, I don't have anything in here right now but let's add something. So um, you've got your icons in the project and your icons on your computer. So it's just where they're stored. This is so it's stored in Scrivener's application support folder. So if you wanna throw stuff in here, you can go find where that's saved on your particular computer and you can throw things in there or you can do it this way that I'm doing it. And now notice down here, so icons in the project take precedence over icons on the computer. So if you have icons for this particular project that you want to use. Just add them up in here um, so that they're always taking precedence over these ones. So just like with most things on Scrivener, if you want to add, you click here. If you want to subtract, you hit here. So let's hit add. And so I have, I uploaded this in here because um, I was expecting this. So click on that and hit open. Okay, there's my icon. So, okay. So now, Change icon, here we go, go to, because that's what I named it, <laughs> I had to find it. <laughs> so there it is, go to, it just gets added into this menu, alphabetical. So go to, and there it is, there's my little goat icon. Um, so, so yeah, um, you can make the um, icons anything you want based on what you need for your story, what you, um, kind of your preferences, or you can just leave them regular. And if you have changed stuff like I did, and then you decide, I don't like that goat, it's stupid, go down here to change icon and reset icon to default. And there it goes, it pops right back to the default. So yeah, that's it. Um, thank you for tuning into this video. I hope you learned something new. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Wash your hands, Black Lives Matter, and have a nice day.